Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel, and if you're clicking and watching this, you probably have spent some time stuck on this problem. Uh, not surprising, honestly, this is a tricky one. This one's really tough, it's gonna make your head spin. So uh, I'm gonna try to point you in the right direction. Feel free if you think you've got it at any point in time while I'm talking to pause me and give it a shot. But here we go. Uh, so the problem's asking us to find the fourth coordinate, the fourth point, so that we get a rhombus. So it's really important that you know what a rhombus is or this problem is extra tough. So a rhombus is a figure with four equal sides. And so to start, if you were trying, you know, for example, where people usually go with this is they try a point, let's say, in, in this area. So maybe like up here. Um, and so if we sketch that figure, um, hopefully you can already kind of see this is not a rhombus. Those sides are not all equal to each other. Uh, and, the, and the truth is, as soon as we tried anything in this area, we were kind of already in trouble because if two of the sides are OD and LD, they're not equal. I mean, that's pretty clear that those are not equal. And so it doesn't really matter at this point if all four sides are gonna be equal, any point over here isn't gonna work. So that's out. So let's see if there's another place we could go. But what if we tried down in this region? So now two of the sides would be this one and this one. And again, we're in kind of the same boat, right? If we try a point over here, those two sides are, that we have already aren't equal. And so it doesn't really matter where we put a point over here, it's not gonna be a rhombus. We're not gonna have equal sides. So that's out too. So where else could the point go? Well, the where else could it go is, what if we tried over here somewhere? So if we try over there, let's see what happens. Now we have that and that. And notice those kind of look like they're equal. And so we're gonna come back to that idea of kind of look like in just a second, but those do look promising. And so now I wanna figure out where over here in this area it could be. The easiest way to do that is I notice that OD from O to D is five units. It goes from zero to five. So if I start out up here and I count one, two, three, four, five, I know that LV is going to be the same length, and then we can finish it off, and there's our rhombus. And so that's going to be our answer. Um, if you're good with what I just said, you can leave now, but if you want to go next level and ask, answer the question, well, how do I actually know that those, those segments are all equal? We can actually prove it, although it's really with something we haven't studied yet in this class, but it is something you're probably familiar with. Let me get this other junk out of the way. So I already know that O to D is five units long, right? Because you can just count along the grid lines. But then the question is, how long is OL? Well, it turns out, let me zoom in a little bit, we can figure that out because I'm gonna change colors. If we make a right triangle with OL as the hypotenuse, right, and that's fairly easy to do on a grid because all of the, right, the vertical lines and the horizontal lines make right angles, and so it's pretty easy to make a right triangle. And what's great about that is you can calculate the lengths of the legs. So this side here is three, and this side, this side here is four, and this is the side we're trying to find, and you can use the Pythagorean theorem. So three squared plus four squared is equal to x squared. That's nine plus 16, which is 25. So if x squared is 25, x is gonna be the square root of 25, which is five. And so you can actually prove that all four of those sides are equal to each other. If you didn't take it to that depth, that's okay. Just thought I'd share that with you in case you were interested. That's all for now, thanks.